Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to show you real quickly how to um, a couple of things about text and how to recreate a logo and how to do some some text effects without having to get a font or anything like that or a special font. Uh, this is for pops, by the way. Word to you for my dear old dad. All right, so here we have a logo. This is a uh, Oats logo. And as you see here, it's got kind of a mono-weighted um, look to it. And one thing that I particularly am fond of is the uh, uh, varying the weight. In CS5, it's really cool because you can do that real quick. But I'm not going to go into that because you guys may have some other version. So if I wanted to recreate this, one, I'm just going to take this guy here. And this is just a logo here. I'm going to take this and I'm going to lock it. You can go Object Lock or Command 2. I'm going to go kind of quick, but you can pause it and rewind it or whatever. So use my pen tool here, and I'm just going to get a real thin stroke. Um, black. And I'm just going to kind of trace the contours. I'm holding Option when I do that, by the way. And sometimes you might want to just delete that all together, hold Option, and drag that down. Uh, for a PC, it would be an Alt button. Close that. Pull it down. All right, so that's pretty close. Option, and I'm just gonna smooth that out. Yeah, it's a weird shape. It's an oat. <laughs> uh, okay, pull that down. All right, so I'm just finessing it a little bit here. All right, so then uh, let's see here. It looks like it has another stroke effect, or like a highlight or something. Uh, so I'm just gonna do. I'm gonna do the easy parts quick. Or first, the other part of the oat. Okay, direct select or the letter A, and I'm just pulling some of these bars around. I'm smoothing some of the corners out because I don't want like real rough corners. There we go. All right, so pen tool P is a, the letter P is a quick tool. And I'm just like like I said, I'm just quickly tracing over what I'm seeing here. Hold option to do that. Hold option to do that. Anytime you make a, a, a mathematical a vector point with the pen tool, if you hold option, it'll let you move the bar all over the place. Okay, or alt. Alright, so direct select or the letter A is the quick key. And I'm just going to fine tune some of my lines. That's good enough. All right, so uh, letter T for the uh, text tool. Open access e text books. Command Shift A unselects that. Then I'll use letter V or select tool. Drag that guy down. Option drag it. I always keep a copy of the font I use just in case. So then I select this guy, Command Shift O, create outlines. I'm gonna drag him out a little bit. Now I don't, I'm not gonna keep this thing. I, I'm not gonna waste time with trying to get the font. I just want to show some of the things you can do. Okay, so there's that guy. I'm just gonna kind of center him. All right, so here uh, you can live trace or you can just draw it yourself. Change it to a stroke. Again, I'm going through this very quickly because you only get so much time on the YouTube for tutorials option. I held the option to do that. I unselect it all, Command Shift A. Unselect it all again, Command Shift A. I'm going to segue this point here just to get that. And then you, mister, like the other part of the A. All right, like I said, this is real makeshift. All right, so if that is the word oats, then I have my, it's a stroke. I have one point, I'm just gonna bring it up to the weight. 
that's about the right weight and I'm going to bring this guy up just a little bit and this guy up just a little bit okay so now if I select all the oats and I know it's it's not super nice but if I select all the oats right now it's a stroke I just go object expand it says fill stroke I say yes there it is all right now um, I'm going to duplicate it keep a copy over there this guy I'm going to ungroup him then I'm going to use the Pathfinder okay you go Windows and Pathfinder right there okay and I'm going to do the first one here which is Unite Unite and now it's all one shape looks like we have a little straggler here pin tool minus and zoom in there and okay so let's see here this guy what was I talking about oh yeah um crap well I can't go back <laughs> alright one thing I like to do alright so I'm gonna un I'm gonna unlock command option 2 unlocks the image that I had locked before okay I'm just gonna get him out of the way so I can get the colors down so I click the guy letter I for eyedropper select that color those stay the same this guy here is gonna be I'm just gonna eyedropper what's on here okay select this guy letter I that's the medium color select this guy letter I top color and this one should be the same as this only I'm going to make it an outline or a, a stroke and then I'm going to expand it it says yes so now it's actually a shape a fill and not a stroke see that so whenever I do that it makes it turns it from a uh, turns it from a pin line into a shape and it's got little handles so I can vary the width okay letter A direct select that's how you do it oops yeah okay So direct select tool, you can mess with the handlebars, you can, uh, and I, what I do is I just try to vary the weight. Same thing with here, and it's already pretty interesting on the outside edge here. Direct select, command minus is how I'm zooming out. So this guy, same song and dance, you know, I'm just selecting little pieces of him pulling handlebars, let down, you know, I'm not going to sit here all day and do this, but um, you can see that you have a lot of control over the width and the curves on how your text looks, okay, like for example the end line here, I'm just going to hit the P for pen tool and subtract that, give me a nice little stroke at the end, that's okay, that's a little harsh. Pull him out here. Pull him down. Pin tool minus minus. Right select. Pin tool minus. There. Option click that handle so you can drag it while you still have the pin tool. Hit A for direct select. Pull him down. I know I'm going quick, but you can pause it when I want. Um, pin tool. I'm just like I'm like I said. I created it. Yes. Option click this. But I'm going through now and just kind of cleaning it up. Okay, so now you're wondering, okay, so once you get done with this, which I'm not done, but let's just say for giggles I am. Um, what you can do in Illustrator, which is I love, is you can get um, vector textures, okay? You can get these from a photograph, take them into Photoshop and posterize them or whatever, and then come into, bring them into Illustrator and live trace them. And I've got two here, okay? This is one. And that's another. If you zoom in real close, you can see that the, all they are is lots of little shapes. Okay? But you zoom out far enough, and they make a grungy texture. So I'm going to grab this guy, option click. Always keep a copy on, on your board. Always. Okay? Alright, so here, this guy, I'm just going to get him out of the way. You always want this to be on top. Okay? So you can go, you can right click and go arrange, bring to front, which is boring, or you can hit command, sh command, shift closing bracket, which is what I always do. Command shift closing bracket. So I'll pull it up over my oats. And you can see it's on top. Okay. I'm gonna make another copy right here. Save time. So I select both of them. Draw a marquee around both. And uh, hold option and then do minus. Uh, because CS5, they minimize that. So just trust me when I say just hold option, hit that. 
gonna think for a second. All right, once it's done, hit expand. You'll see that expand highlights up here. Hit expand and bam. All right, now I wanna get something finer, more fine. I'll duplicate this guy and then I'll hold Option Shift, drag from the corner, and you'll see this is much smaller. Remember, bring the front, Command, Shift, closing bracket. Bring the front, and I'm going to put it right there. And I won't put another one here. Option, dra drag it. I'm just making clones. Option, drag that there. Option, drag that. Well, that won't work. R, the letter R. It's a quick cool for rotate. All right, so now I got four here, right? So I'm going to shift click one, shift click that, that, and that, all four of these. Option, unite, let it think. All right, as soon as that goes through, you'll see expand highlights. I will hit expand and nothing happened. Hold on. What the hell? Hit expand. And basically all I am doing is taking different sizes of this guy. Here, let's delete him. And let's go with this other one here. It's just a different texture. Z for zoom. V, letter V for select tool. Drag from the corner, hold option and shift to keep it in the middle. All right, so command, shift, closing bracket, bring him in the front. Option, drag him, so I have a duplicate there. I'm just going to take him, I'm going to select him, and I'm going to shift click oats, then I'm going to option click minus, and basically all I'm doing is subtracting that texture from the shape of the letter of the word oats. It's sinking. Once it gets through, you'll see expand highlights, hit expand, and bam, it goes through. You see how it has a nice, finer uh, I'm zooming out. A finer grunge look than the other texture did. So I'll duplicate that and repeat here. Oops, make sure he's on the front. Command shift. If it's not on the front, it, it will come out all wacky. Alright, so texture on top, shape on the bottom. Option, minus. And expand, pops back up, hit it, and there you go. All right, so I'm not going to go any further because you get the idea. So you can take, where's the other road set? Here it is. Drag all that guy, option drag him, okay? Then I'm going to go object, um, oh, it's not grouped. Ungroup, just to make sure. Before you uh, combine something on Pathfinder, if it's grouped, it won't let you do it, okay? And on top of that, if I did a circle, and it is a stroke, like it's a line stroke, you can't uh, do anything with it on Pathfinder. You can, but it'll whack it out. So I, as a habit, I always take something that's a stroke, and I go Object, Expand, and it expands the stroke, see? You can do the fill too, but you don't, it's not necessary, but I always leave it on just because. So now you'll see here it's a fill. Now I can mess with it. So, having said that, if you have created text that's like different pieces like this is, then you need to select it all, combine it, now it's combined, and now you can do stuff with the uh, Pathfinder and it won't give you any issues, okay? Alright, so I'm going to take this, I'm going to select this brown, make him the brown, and I'm going to go to my color here and I'm going to make him just a bit darker. 
All right, and I'm going to bring them over here and slap them right here on top of the other oats. Oh, I changed it a bit, didn't I? <laughs> oh, yeah, this is ghetto tutorial. All right, so anyway, if you'll see here, he's behind the other guy, so I'm just going to drag, direct select tool is what I'm using. I'm dragging just different points of this just to make sure it kind of falls into place with the other one because I did make a couple of minor adjustments. Um, so just bear with me a second. All right, so there you'll see that um, you can quickly get a texture look, completely vector, that's all vector. <sighs> Select all that and group it, and there's your recreated logo. Thank you. One more thing, say you create text. Um, if you look here, I've got fans with design, and I want to make it bold. And I'm gonna make it 30 point. You select it, grab it, command shift O, and now it's outlined, but it's still like grouped, okay? So after I outlined it, if I went object, um, outline, wherever it is, I can't, oh, I'm so used to the shortcut, I don't remember where it is on the menu. Alright, so after you do that, you need to ungroup it. Watch what happens when you ungroup it. Object, ungroup. It's still like little pieces. See that? Undo, undo. So select all of this guy. Let's just select Fansler first. Let's select all that and let's unite it. Unite. Okay. Now, if you're working on CS4 or CS3 or below, after you hit unite, you would have to hit expand. But they they streamlined that. So uh, if it doesn't doesn't work for you, make sure you hit expand. Uh, design selecting all that. Unite. Okay. All right, so now this is all one piece. I can't ungroup it. I can, oh, never mind, I can ungroup it. Okay, so here, one shape, one shape. Now, all this guy, unite him. I'm gonna make him a different color. And it looks like he's behind fans were designed, so command, shift, closing bracket. He's above now. Option, hit that button right there, and expand. That's simple. All you need is a good vector texture. What else can I show you? Um, say you do have a, you just pick the circle shape and you make it a stroke and you make a circle, go to object, expand. I think I already showed this to you, but I just want to show you one more time. So it turns it into a shape, and then you hit the direct select tool, and you can drag the, the toolbars here, and you can actually change it, okay? So having said that, you could do something even faster, which is create a circle, deselect it, option drag it, and make him a little smaller. I'll change color so you can see what I'm talking about. Oh, look, it's a moon. So if I say, say somebody wanted like a logo with a cool circle shape, then you can kind of position it how you think would be awesome. And then select them both. Hold on. Select them both and then subtract. Now you got a cool shape and you can duplicate it, rotate it. And now you got two. Duplicate those, rotate them. So the possibilities are endless, really, with shapes. So really quickly, you can come up with some cool stuff just by using the Pathfinder tool. Thank you for your support.